YouTube tagged some of my geology videos with a link to the Flat Earth Wikipedia page, so I decided to discuss the Flat Earth, Flat Cats, and cosmic phenomena such as multiple universes, time travel, black holes, wormholes, and panspermia for entertainment purposes only. In order not to confuse the real world with a two-dimensional world, this video introduces the rolling pin test for flat structures. When I found out that two of my videos about geology were tagged by YouTube with a link to the Wikipedia Flat Earth page, I was upset because I have never been an advocate of the Flat Earth. But then I realized that YouTube was giving me a hint to correct this deficiency in my education. I have always loved the challenge and I am willing to learn about the Flat Earth and other topics that I thought were equally absurd like multiple universes, time travel, and wormholes. So here it goes. The Flat Earth Wikipedia page points out that many civilizations thought that the Earth was flat just 2000 years ago. The idea of a spherical Earth appeared in Greek philosophy in the 6th century BC and knowledge of the Earth's global shape gradually spread throughout the world. Despite the scientific fact of Earth's sphericity, pseudoscientific Flat Earth conspiracy theories are espoused by modern Flat Earth societies and increasingly by unaffiliated individuals using social media. It seems that these unaffiliated individuals using social media are guys like me who post flat earth videos like this one on YouTube. I respect science and the scientific method, so I devise experiments with a rolling pin to identify flat structures like the flat earth, but I don't want my experiments to be interpreted as support for the modern flat earth societies. This is an instance of a flat earth. We can verify that it's flat by rolling a rolling pin on top of it. As you can see, it's flatter than a pancake. I promise you some flat cats, and here they are. A placemat with a cat looking at the moon is perfectly flat. This is a cheetah. It is not exactly a house cat, but it is also perfectly flat. No animals were harmed in making this video. Panspermia is the hypothesis that life is distributed throughout the universe when microscopic life forms are carried by space dust, meteoroids, and comets. The impact of an asteroid on a planet that harbors life can eject organisms that travel through space in a dormant state before colliding randomly with other planets. Our odyssey begins when an asteroid hits the flat Earth carrying two organisms. Erythrococcus is red with yellow feet and wears mirror glasses that go well with his silver antennas. Pardon me, I cannot tell if the organism is a she or a he, but for linguistic tradition let us use the masculine pronoun. The other organism is white with black antennas and wears cool black shades. In a French accent he says that his name is Leucococcus. Je m'appelle Leucococcus, call me Luc. Strange, I could swear that Luc is a female. Eric and Luc come in peace and they want to get established in their new home. Right away we notice that Eric and Luke are not in the same flat earth that we saw before. This is because there are multiple universes. We live in a hypothetical multiverse and there are many parallel universes and multiple instances of the earth. We can verify that Eric and Luke arrived at an instance of a flat earth by using the rolling pin test. Moving the rolling pin over Africa and South America, we can demonstrate that this earth is perfectly flat and the rolling pin did not even get wet in the Atlantic Ocean. Looking at this flat earth from a higher elevation, we can see Cuba, a pyramid in Mexico, a surfer in the Pacific Ocean, and a charming hula dancer in Hawaii. Of course, to do this, we have had to break the rules of the two-dimensional flat earth by going into the third dimension. Looking toward Europe and Asia, we get a glimpse of Albert Einstein, some dolls, and a boat full of animals. Maybe we can learn something important from Albert Einstein. Einstein's field equations provide the basis for an Einstein-Rosen wormhole, which is a speculative structure similar to a tunnel that links two separate points in spacetime. Theoretically, a wormhole might connect extremely long distances or even different universes. In a very lucid explanation, Wikipedia says, more precisely, a wormhole is a transcendental bijection of the spacetime continuum, an asymptotic projection of the calabi jiao manifold manifesting itself in anti sitter space. Wow, everything is so clear now! This means that we can travel into many alternate universes if we can just find a wormhole. 
Knowing what we know about multiple universes and wormholes, in an alternate universe, Einstein would look like Marilyn Monroe with a bad hair day. You never know where quantum jump will lead you. I suppose that Heisenberg's uncertainty principle will keep you guessing. We better leave things the way they were. Scanning our flat earth, we discover a Ukrainian painted egg, some Russian dolls, Zdrasvyte Djavuchke, Kak Pozhvayte, and we come upon Noah's Ark loaded with all kinds of animals. We must have traveled into the past of a parallel universe. Time travel makes it possible to move between different points in time. It is uncertain if time travel to the past is physically possible. Forward time travel, outside of the usual sense of the perception of time, is an extensively absurd phenomenon and well understood within the framework of special relativity and general relativity. This means that it is possible to find out when you are going to die so that you can load up on life insurance and have a luxurious send-off into the afterlife like an Egyptian pharaoh. The only problem is that you need to find a quantum mechanical wormhole to do this. Our intrepid intergalactic travelers Eric and Luke now embark on a voyage of exploration of the flat earth. A mysterious boat floats along the Atlantic Ocean toward the alien visitors. The hand of providence comes to their aid and places them on the boat. Oops! Ow! Oops! Ow! Finally, the explorers get on the ship after suffering a few bruises. Eric and Luke navigate southward along the Atlantic Ocean. They sail past South America with its thick, impenetrable jungles. They continue east past the Cape of Good Hope in Africa. Suddenly, they make a remarkable discovery. Oh, it's a black hole! Clearly we're going to die. Wait, wait! It looks like a floppy disk from the 20th century. We must be in another time warp. A black hole is a region of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. Black holes cannot be observed directly, but we know where they are due to their gravitational effects on nearby stars and the lensing effect that they have on light. No, it is not a black hole. It is a warm hole, and it links us to a parallel universe that has the world on top of a turtle. And look, there is another turtle. It is turtles all the way down. Here we go. Oh, we're finding another wormhole. Oh, this leads to another instance of a flat earth. And look, it must be the land of Oz. Here we have a brain coil. Brain coil. And the brain from the scarecrow. We continue our perilous adventure and come to, what is this? What is this? Oh, some Russian dolls. We must be in Russia. And look, there is a warp, a warp in space-time. And here is another instance of flat world, an atlas holding the world. Wow! The Greeks had a good story. Erythrococcus and Leucococcus were fruitful and multiplied, and they lived happily ever after.